here in the garden again and it's pretty overcast here it is it's pretty cloudy but still enjoying lots of birds around i noticed that this summer that we had lot we have lots of birds around so garden this is how it's looking and i have some projects that i have to work on i'll share it with you but let's start from this end i'm trying to start from different ends with you guys so my rosemary here i have dill and potatoes in there and i am um, just i constantly check on the dill because i heard they attract worms this is bells of irish and i'm not even sure what flower that is but i had those in a little pot and they were not really doing well we got our first raspberries i think i shared that in the last week's video this squash is actually lying down now this i've moved it here i'm checking it i do see a bug there I wonder what bug that is. I'm not familiar with all the different types of bugs. Oh, it's gone, but I've noticed that one lurking around. I hope that's not uh, the vine borer. A lot of my squashes are dropping still in this area. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what that issue is. And then we have these sunflowers. Something keeps attacking my sunflowers. I have no clue. And these chrysanthemums are coming up. I am thinking I need to take this out of this spot. It's way too small. And I want to put it in a, a garden bed that I'm making for just for just flowers. I'll share that project with you guys <clears throat> in another video. So, or stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll make sure you guys what I will be working on soon for that. We have this brown cherry plant that is taking off in here that are the tomatoes and the nasturtium i have malabar spinach growing there i did try some from the grocery store and i stuck the sticks inside i didn't give up hope on this pepper this is a black cobra pepper that i don't know i think it got some sort of infection they shouldn't say virus bacteria I'm not too sure what you call it but i may just pull it out <clears throat> these are going super great the okra is taken off but you can see these holes now i did spray it and in spring i did get rid of some of the white flies which is what was eaten out the leaves and guess what we had a lot of rain and after the rain i noticed the flies are back here again so I need to spray them this evening. I didn't want to spray them this morning. We have some blooms and I see a lot of bees out today. So I didn't want to spray this morning and um, and kill the bees. And that is neem oil solution, fully organic. Now I got seeds. This You'll see I have fish pepper here, but I don't think this is fish pepper. If you guys know if this is fish pepper, let me know. I know it's variegated leaves, but I'm not seeing the variegation as I've seen in other fish pepper plants. Maybe these are young, and that's why. Let me know. I got it in a swap, so I don't know fully if the person tricked me. This is my Tabasco plant, and sunflower growing good here. I have some more okras. I have some one hidden here mixed in with this tomato I think I planted these maybe too close it's appearing that they're a little too close but that's this bed another sunflower here I have another desi squash this here is a desi squash and you can see some squash coming along there this is my ground cherry oh it's beautiful first time growing it last year I tried and tried and tried and I could not get ground cherries to grow. I can get it to, to pass that seedling stage. And can you guys see? There's a ton. So I am super excited. And this is more of a novelty to me. My husband grew up with it and he's laughing because he said 
it has it's something that's grown a while where he's from and where he grew up and can you guys see this this plant is growing healthy in a short truce color and it actually has some blooms somewhere the blooms yeah so I'm curious as to what truly this plant is is it zooming in oh boy my angle but we have some more fruit here I can't even remember what tomato these are but this bed is growing great I did put in this cage late these cages late so if you see them kind of growing out of the cage I still have to figure a way to groom them in then I have colantro growing here a couple ones I'm trying to video this before going inside um, because Jordan is already inside we have basil, um, some Swiss chard. It was like, a, it, I think it was the bright lights pack that you get from Dollar Tree. And these work way better than some of the seeds that I got from some other stores, some packet seeds. And that is the multicolored spinach from Baker Creek. And yes, isn't it gorgeous? And the white flies are attacking it also. We have more sunflowers, not a chrysanthemum, my zinnias. I have actually tried putting Epsom salts to help with it, you know, feed this plant, but I think I need to put some more. And yes, I know that a sickly plant encourages insects and all these kind of things. Can you guys see my cucumelon? Another novelty that I babied all together. It is taking off. I did pull out the tomato that was in here because I realized it was too small and just left the nasturtium. Where did I put that tomato? I can't even remember now. And this is my Ruru pepper there. So there's a couple things that I um, enjoyed and I'm babying more or less. The Ruru pepper, the ground cherries and the cucumelon. I have one plant here as you guys can see that's trailing around and I have another one somewhere else more cucumbers this morning I actually noticed this Ooh, look at that butterfly I'm gonna pull out these peas they are growing so unhealthy and I don't want them to infect or do anything to other stuff that's around but that is actually a potato cucumber I think it's called um, I got it from MI Garden Store, so I am definitely going to be checking out. I'm, not, I'm gonna leave it for a couple more days and see what happens. I did trim, trim what do you call it? prune my tomatoes yesterday, so they're not as bushy as they were. Lots of them are setting fruit, and I, I think I'm watching them a little too much because I'm not seeing anyone change color. I'm not seeing anyone change color. So I'll end the video here on this bed and use, spend some, um, for the next video, I'll continue um, with, from this bed. But look at this tomato. I am super excited. Oh, it's a beautiful tomato. Really and truly, my excitement comes from the fact that this is my first time growing larger sized tomatoes than the cherry tomatoes. Last year was only cherry tomatoes that I grew. And I didn't get a lot because I grew them late. Um, summer, I think I sowed, I set seeds from July. So this year I did from February, March. And we are in the first week of June, so I know what I need to do next year. But yeah, I do have one. I'm gonna end here. A gorgeous, another gorgeous tomato here. And what variety is this? My labels have been so messed up. This is the green striped. So I'm thinking this may be right to pick. How do I know when it's ready, guys? 
I need to go and research on it. I'll definitely go and research on it because that is a green. Hey, leaf. That is a green tomato. So I got to research as to when it's going to wrap. And I think that is actually the only tomato from this tree. I don't think this tree has any more tomatoes. Yes, I'm sorry if you guys were just only seeing a sea of tomatoes. I have to figure out how we have, you know, doing better videos. Maybe editing a little more. But we have more tomatoes there. And yes, lots of cucumbers here. There's actually three plants and they have taken off. And the squash is behind there. But look at these tomatoes, these cucumbers. You can see, foresee lots of salads over the summer so i'll end here with this side and then tomorrow i'll try and video from this end and then show you guys the surprise and a surprise what more or less we will be working on for a little flower bed uh, thanks for watching if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section below and if you guys know about um green tomatoes like when it's best to pick them, I'll appreciate any help. Until next time, bye-bye.